Warning, the following video uncovers some of the shittiest bullshit ever seen on YouTube and therefore guys, viewer discretion is advised. Enjoy. Okay, so the first thing I want to do before I go on rambling on about this whole scandal and the whole situation is say a big thank you to Honor The Call. Honor The Call was the guy who originally broke this story and without Honor The Call and the people who he's already worked alongside with, none of this video would have been possible, so a big thank you. There's links to his videos, the two videos he's already done on the matter, and a link to his actual channels. So let's start off right here. Let me give you a quick backstory. So it all started when T. Martin and Syndicate started uploading videos talking about this new website, what they've actually found called CSGO Lotto. Now, they was uploading videos such as how to win 13,000 in five minutes, and I'm going to show you that video right now. Okay, so this video may seem innocent enough, you know, the guys just spent an extortionate amount of money to actually, you know, win some skins on Counter-Strike Global Offensive. However, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Now, let's look at another video from Team Martin just explaining why, you know, he decided to use CSGO Lotto. We found this new site called CSGO Lotto, so I'll link it down in the description if you guys want to check it out. But we were betting on it today, and I won a pot of like $69 or something like that, so it's a pretty small pot, but it was like the coolest feeling ever. And uh, I ended up like following them on Twitter and stuff, and they hit me up, and they're talking to me about potentially doing like a skin sponsorship, like they'll give me skins to be able to bet on the site and stuff. So here is where the shit hits the fan, ladies and gents. T. Martin actually owns CSGO Lotto. Yes, he owns the actual company. He was the one who created it. This is where the shady shit all begins. Let's have a look now at some information which Honor The Call found out on his video, guys. Mr. Trevor, did you tell your fans that you owned the website before showing them how to win? The problem with that would be if I didn't divulge that information, and I do. You can look at the descriptions of every single one of my CSGO Lotto videos. It says in there, like, thank you to CSGO Lotto for either sponsoring or made in collaboration with, or, you know, whatever other terminology I've used in the past. Every single one of those has that listed. Wow, tell me if he was being honest with you. He tried so hard to cover his tracks. Let me show you what he did. He watches my video, then before doing any damage control, goes to each of his videos and updates the description. Piles of lies, man. Here, this video with the new description where he says, video made possible by CSGO Lotto, play at your own risk and please don't play if you're underage or it's not legal in your jurisdiction. But this fool forgot that internet is a fucking time machine. Machine. Anyone can go back in time and look what it really was. You take this video link and type in web archives and boom, nothing here when the video went up back in March and new description right here. See how he updated his video descriptions and lied to the face of his 5 million viewers. Okay, so that was a great segment there from Honor The Call, a big thank you once again. So. Unfortunately, I can't actually go on YouTube right now and see any of T. Martin's betting videos because he has set them all to private or deleted them or something. They've just vanished into thin air, guys. But you can clearly see there, on the calls, done his research, he's used the internet time machine to actually see what the video description said quite clearly before T. Martin then went and changed it once this whole, you know, scandal broke. And there is no mention there of anything. There's no mention of a sponsorship collaboration or anything and it's clear today to me anyway personally that T Martin has lied he's actually come out and said he's sorry but he's not said sorry for the right reasons he said sorry because he's been caught now I don't actually want to go on and you know talk about things what other YouTubers have actually gone and said already you know there's links in the description to both of one of the calls videos and also a link to his actual channel h3h3 H3, has also covered this as well so there's also a link to his channel as well in the comments section but what I want to talk about now is what T Martin should do because currently guys he's got all his newest videos or at least the top five or six I've actually checked he's disabled comments on the videos he's disabled the like rating so you can't thumbs up or thumbs down the video he's basically gone into hiding unfortunately guys I cannot actually contact T Martin on Twitter um, because he's blocked me just like how he blocks anybody who says anything negative about him So what would I do now? What should T Martin do now? Because 
it's clear today he's got caught lying he's tried to defend himself before saying oh no when he actually did the first video saying that he'd been contacted by CSGO, you know, to give him a sponsorship and give him a few free skins, and they contacted him via Twitter. He was already the owner of that business. He created CSGO Lotto, but he tried to come out and deflect some of the criticism at him because he said at that particular point in time, he did not own that company. On of the calls got it in his videos, guys. H3N3 has also got it in his videos too, but I'm not going to go on about that. But what I should say now is, T. Martin, you have been caught red-handed, okay? You're just saying more and more lies, and people are finding out it's lies and more lies. The best thing for you to do is come clean and say, okay, I'll hold my hands up, I did some shady shit, I've been caught, I am sorry guys, I won't do this again, and hopefully, if t goes and does that, the rest of the YouTube community who work in, you know, collaboration with, like, the likes of Activision, obviously, you know who I'm talking about, um... YouTube needs to clean itself up, and I think if t actually comes out and admits that he's in the wrong, because all the evidence is there, maybe the FTC are going to, you know, see all this happening and actually take action against t Martin because I don't know if he's broke the law or not, but it appears to me that he must have broke some advertising law, but I'm no lawyer, that is my pure speculation, guys, so don't take my word for that. So, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. I'd just like to quickly say yet again a big thank you to Honor the Call for allowing me to use some of your footage from your video. So, like I said at the beginning of the video, guys, please go and subscribe to Honor the Call. He made my video possible by doing his excellent research and watch his videos in the comment section but thanks for watching guys until next time goodbye for now